Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome for all of my returning friends. Hello again. I just have to say, first and foremost, if I look rough this morning, there's a perfectly good explanation for me looking the way I do. Skin breaking out, this left eyeball is running, It's has its own issue. It's because I just got off of a 12 hour shift at the hospital. So I came home, took a shower. The eye makeup is still glorious for the most part. But like I said, this left eyeball, it's doing its own thing. I don't know what its problem is this morning. It must be tired. Whatever the case may be, it's just doing its own thing. So I came on here because I need to wash these clothes. This is gonna be a Timu clothing haul. So I need to wash everything and put everything away. So yeah, <laughs> that's why I figured let me just come on here and show y'all what I got. So yeah, let's just jump into the video. So there's a lot of sews, there's a lot of sews. Okay, so I said there's gonna be a clothing haul, but there are, miscellaneous things here and there and you'll see it as we go along so we're going to start with the first miscellaneous things i'm just going to pull of uh, pull things that i have around me readily close by okay so this first thing is a pillow not a case but for the elongated um rectangle pillow this one says give it to god and go to sleep it just looks like this here so it has the saying on the front and then the back is just solid white and it is soft it really is a soft material so i got that and then i picked up these covers one is for a blender and then the other one is for the four slice poster. It says it's the red cartoon theme, but if I'm not mistaken, this one looks a little duller than this one. And this print looks, there we go, a little bit bigger. Like, do you see the, like the crock pot? It looks a little larger on this one. This one doesn't have a white lid, but that one on the four slice toaster, it does. So I don't know. I don't know. I wanted it to be matchy matchy, but it's not. And online, it looked like it was the exact same print. And like I said, it says the same thing, red cartoon theme, but they look different. Yeah, so I got those, and I picked up some cell phone cases because I'm going to be upgrading my phone. So currently, I have two phones. Little backstory: so I have an iPhone, and then I have the Samsung Galaxy. This one is the S23 Ultra. Yeah. So I have this, this one is going to be upgraded. This is the Galaxy and I'm going with the Google Pixel 9 Pro XL. So this is this one here. And this is one of the cases that I picked up for it. It's gray. And then there is another gray case here. You can see the difference. This one's like, um, almost like a suede um, texture. And then this one here, as you can see on the left, it's um, it's not a suede texture, but it has like, almost like a snake pattern skin on it. But these are both gray, one's darker, one's lighter. You can see there. And then I got, these two are in black. One is like a, a wood grain. I'll take it out, that way you can see them better. So this one here is like a wood grain on the right, 
and then this one here is also like the gray one like the snake kind of pattern and then last one they're calling this green this one is also like the light gray like a suede material they're calling this like i said green but that's what that looks like there so i grabbed those and then i was actually surprised that this actually came this is the montana west handbag because i ordered three and then they sent me an email and said that they were first not going to deliver them then they said they were out for delivery and then they refunded my money and all of a sudden one of the three bags appeared at the house so and then the other two were canceled so i don't know i don't know so this is what this one looks like that i did end up getting and it has like two zippers on the side and when you open it around it like expands the bag just like that so you get a little like a gusset there and it opens up and it has two dividers where you can put your stuff on either side and then in the middle it has the zipper compartment it just looks like that there so that's really nice and it's like a, a hobo kind of styled bag and then on the back it also has another compartment in the back so i thought that was really nice so i picked up that bag i don't need any more house slippers but this one was too cute to pass up so i picked it up and it just has the cute little like jack-o-lanterns on there it also came in where the black is it's orange and then the jack-o-lantern has it's like a black um jack-o-lantern but the insides on both styles are the same and then this is the backing like the sole of the house slippers so i got that I haven't opened so let's just get my trusty scissors here what is it in here oh okay okay Ugh. let's pull this out this is the knockoff Uggs it's in this plastic ziplock baggy here okay. sorry for all the noise should have opened these beforehand these are what they look like there's nothing on the back like obviously the uggs would say ugg on the back but i just picked it up in the classic black and these actually this one is a second time that I purchased it because I had got it in my original size of seven, but they run really snug. And I like to wear socks with my shoes and boots and stuff like that. So I had to return those and then reorder them in an eight. So if you are buying these, just as a heads up, go up a size because they do run snug so especially if you're going to wear socks with it it's going to be really tight so i got these in an eight and the european size it says 39 on it and the sole as you can see is really thick and it's pretty good quality so i grabbed those okay this hair is driving me nuts let me just pin it out oh, yeah i'm a hot mess today i have no idea what's happening I must be really exhausted. I have no idea what's going on. What the heck is this? Alright, let's just open it up. Hopefully I don't cut the product inside. Alright, let's see. Here's a spot. 
trying to think what the heck is this. Is that another keychain? I'm to be kidding. Yeah. Yep, another keychain. It looks like it will hold like chapstick or lip gloss. Yeah. So it is like a little keychain doohickey thingy, but you can put chapstick or lip gloss inside. And yeah, it can house your chapstick. So I guess that will come in handy, but I don't need any more keychains, but you already know. And I picked up one of these, um, another one of these toiletry bags. This one says stuff on it. And I got it in the black. Also came in pink, yellow, white, and like this light blue. But I just picked the classic black. So I got that. I don't know what I'm gonna use this for, but I love the animal print, so I just picked it up and it was a good price. It's just a little, not a little, it's a pretty big size wristlet bag. I don't know why I picked it up. I will find use for it, but ooh, the zipper is pretty good too. And then the inside, this is what it looks like. So the back side has a zipper compartment here. Mm. That was already open, Andrea. There we go. Has a little zipper compartment on the inside. And then the front side has two little pocket areas there. And you can wipe the outside clean. It's really nice. Like I said, I don't know why I purchased it besides the price because I don't know what I'm going to use it for but I'll I'll put it to good use and this just another pants yep more sweatpants so it's just a classic black sweatpants I went up two sizes so I got this in an XL and the bottom is the flat banded um, ankle part that I like. I don't like the ones where it's like scrunched. It has like the elastic in there. I like it flat like that. So I picked up that. And then I think I got three jeans. Or I should have packed this a lot better. I think I got three pairs. Yeah, they're all at the bottom, of course. Bear with me trying to keep it in some kind of cohesive order but ah uh, okay so i got three jeans they were all in the size medium so it doesn't have like numbers it just has letters so like i said they're in medium so i got they're all blue um blue jeans this one here has a embroidered horse on it you can see there so I got that and then it has like a little touch of like whitewash on the front and it has a very slight flare if you can see that there and then the back pockets just look like that just a classic black back pocket sorry and then this one here does this have any embroidery just a typical blue jeans with the whitewash. This one's a little bit more pronounced and it's on both sides, but the back pockets have like the flap with the little button closure, metal button closure. And is this a faux zipper? No, it has an actual working zipper with two metal button closures and this one is a little bit more flared than the first one 
ever so slightly. It's not like a huge like bell bottom kind of thing, but it is flared. And then this one has the same kind of whitewash in the front and the back. The pockets have like a little embroidered print on it and the pocket does have the flaps and it is a functioning pocket with the little button closure and this one has one button instead of two buttons like that other one that I showed you and it does have a let me not blah yeah a functioning zipper so I got those and then in my last haul I had told y'all I was trying to incorporate color in my wardrobe. I don't know how often I'm gonna wear colors, but I did pick up some more of those um, shirts with the frilly sleeve. Sleeve, yeah. So I got this time around, I picked up this light purple color with the little fluttery sleeves. So I got the light purple. I got it in this like dusty rose pink color. And then the next one that I got is this like cheerful, like yellow. It's almost like a mustard color. So I got those. And those seem like they run really big compared to the other ones that I have hauled. And they're the same size, so whatever. Hopefully they'll shrink a little bit. Oh, and I got the classic black. So this is not really colors, but <laughs> I had to get one in black. So I got that. All right, we got some more PJs. I think I got, I wanna say one in each of the color options that they had. So here is the gray, the pink, and where the heck is the blue? I should have packed this a lot more organized. Okay, here's the blue. See, I wasn't lying. Okay, so I got these in, let me not lie, because I know I got these a little bit roomy. Okay, so I got these in an XL because I wanted the shirt to be a little bit more flowy I don't want it sticking to me I mean I'm sleeping but I don't like my clothes like really sucking on to me well anyways so I got it in this blue animal print and the bottoms look the same it has a drawstring I got them in the pink same thing with the drawstring and the shirt is just is it a v-neck? Yeah, it's a v-neck. This one looks a little tad bigger than the blue one. So I got those. And then the last one I picked the gray color option. Same thing, v-neck. They're all the same, except the colors obviously. And then it has a drawstring. Now the drawstring is actually stitched in the waistband so it doesn't get it like it doesn't suck you in kind of thing if that makes any sense it's just there it's almost like a faux draw drawstring because i don't know if y'all can see that so it's stitched in the waistband but when you tug on it it doesn't like pull the waistband tighter if that makes any sense but it gives you the same illusion of a drawstring with the bow and all that jazz so I got those and stepping out of my comfort zone I got a black shirt this one has polka dots but the reason I picked it up is not only to get out of my comfort zone but I like the back of it so this is the front it's just the classic black background with the white polka dots and it looks plain and everything but when you pass by the person it has the bow design at the back and the bow is white with black polka dots so I just thought that was really pretty and that is the back of the the blouse and 
yeah so I thought that was really nice so I picked that up and then this is just a regular black long sleeve shirt just a basic essential okay so this sweater and this one here okay so I grabbed three sweaters for little man but two of which are going to be donated because we wanted like this I don't know if you all can see it but we wanted like this cotton kind of material whereas these two are like really shiny it's almost like it feels like plasticky kind of thing so these two we will um the black and the blue we're going to donate them because he doesn't really like that fabric and i don't blame him so he's the one that's gonna wear it or not wear it in this case so i'm going to respect his wishes and donate those but he's going to keep the gray one so that's for little man and then I think I want to say one or two hauls ago I hauled these PJs these satin PJs in like that champagne beigey color and I had told you that the gray one or silver I should say were on its way so here is the silver animal print PJs these ones are shorts and then it has a button down shirt which is really nice because oh I was just gonna say the buttons are silver too but they're just white but it blends in really nicely at least so got those they ran the buttons with the piping of the garment if you can see that because it's piped with white so I got that and then the next few items are light cardigans now these were i remember these prices these ones were three dollars and 67 cents they had like that lightning deal for like a few hours or whatever so i grabbed the colors that were on sale so i picked up the gray i grabbed it in this fun green color thought that was really pretty got it in the classic cream got it in this light pink color here and it's the material is really really soft and then I got it in this like mauvey color I want to say so got it in those colors and then last haul you had seen the black one in that I'm telling you i have to just i always have to have black in my wardrobe i don't know what's wrong with me <sighs> speaking of black this one has colors on the sleeves okay it has embroidered flowers so it has a little color so this is a like a nice dressy blouse and the sleeves have like the little embroidered flowers on both of the sleeves and it almost like I don't know if it's gonna show up but it almost like puffs out it's like one of those puff sleeves kind of thing so got that and this is a v-neck there we go it's a v-neck so got that the next shirt is like for spooky season it's an oversized sweater with the jack-o-lanterns on it it's on both sides of the shirt well sweater and on the sleeves and then the sleeves have this like worn cut out look and i believe yeah the bottom hem of the sweater as well has the same distressed that's the word yeah distressed look there oh this is a fun shirt i was waiting for this t-shirt to get here so if you're old school you know about mario party and mario brothers whatever you'll know this is boo but if you look really closely at the shirt it's like different 
like Mario characters that make up Boo himself and his tongue. So I thought that was really interesting and cute. So it has like a mixture of all the little characters in it. And this is really nice, it's actually cotton. So yeah, so I got that. And then I picked up some dresses. Now, I don't know how many of these I'm gonna actually wear because this is like totally out of my comfort zone, but hey, I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying. So I got this one here. I'll try to remember to post um, pictures. That way y'all can see the garments on the actual body. But this is just you pull over. There's no closure on the back or anything. You just pull it over your head. And that's the short sleeves. And it's really flowy. There's no, no split or anything like that. It's just basic. So I thought that that was okay. This one here, I like it. It's more like for spring or summer, so I'm gonna have to wear this like next year. But I'm going to have to wear like one of those, um, what are those things called? Like a full slip kind of thing because it is a little see-through. I don't know if you'll we'll see like my hands, there you go. It's a little sheer, so you gotta wear like a slip underneath it. I mean, you don't have to if you don't want to, if you wanna be risque, but you know. I like it because it has like the little ruching in the center there under the bust line. And it has this fun little ruffle kind of, um, bottom so i like that that's really cute a little dainty little dress there so i got that and then i picked up three more dresses yeah this one is really fun this is for like the season now fall so it has like this whole ruching i think that's what it's called but like it's really stretchy so i could have gone down a size i picked this up in a large but i could have taking a medium just because you see how much stretch like the top portion has and then the bottom so even under the bust line it does have a lot of stretch and then the bottom just flares out so like I said you can go down in this um this dress in particular and I could have went down to size but I don't read I don't read which I should have because I know somebody would have put in the comments, like the review section, that this runs large because of all the stretch. So I could have taken this in a medium, but like I said, hopefully it will shrink a tad when I wash it. We'll see. We'll make it work. We'll make it work. And then this one here, do they? Yeah, none of them have, like you just pull them over your head. So none of them have like a, a closure at the back. Yeah, all of them you can just pull over your head. So this one here is the blue. This is a little bit more form fitting. So I don't know how I'm gonna like this one, but I like the sleeves at least. The sleeves are pretty nice, but yeah. And then the last dress I grabbed is this classic black and white. As soon as I said, none of these dresses have like a black closure, this one has a zipper closure. See, always being made out as a liar. See, this one has a <laughs> zipper closure on the back and it goes all the way down to the waist, yeah. Yeah, so it goes all the way down to the print, which is the waist part. So it's a pretty long zipper. And I really like the sleeves on this one as well. And it just looks like this and it does flow. 
and there's no split on this dress either so i got those all right let's see i have one two two more let me not be made out to be a liar yeah two more pjs so this one's really fun so the shirt has eyelashes and it says sleep and then they reverse the color for the pants they okay the pants are really thin they're really see-through but if you're in the house you're sleeping pff, you should be fine ain't nobody be looking like that so you see it's reverse colors so it's the same little saying on the pants sleep and it has the eyelashes but the shirt is the light pink with the burgundy writing and eyelashes while the bottoms have the pink drawstring and same thing it's stitched so it's not going to um tighten the waist in any way but it has the light pink writing with the eyelashes. So I got that. And then this one here is more for, I would say now, because it's a little bit warmer kind of thing. This is another thing like the previous PJ bottoms. The pants are really see-through y'all can yeah there you can see it's a little see-through so this matches the heart that's on the shirt and it says love you it's embroidered and the back is just plain and just a classic sleeve and it does have a little stretch to it so I picked those up and then this shirt did they wait hold on did they spell halloween right okay <laughs> i'm just making sure listen sometimes you know timu they're trying to make their own little spelling thing here but this is spelled correctly so if you know you know and this is another cotton shirt it's 100 percent cotton which is nice it's not like a cotton blend or that like plasticky feel so like i said if you know you know what that is and this one was a bummer because i bought this one for my brother because he's a huge halloween michael myers fan like you can miss me with that stuff that stuff to me is hella scary and michael myers the man scares me okay like who are you fooling his mask is all white and he's wearing like mechanic navy blue jumper so in the dark my brain it looks like his head's floating and i think that's why it freaks me out listen my brain is weird so yeah but this here oh lord this thing is so scary but it's the same print and then jamie lee curtis is on the bottom um that's his sister right yeah and the house is on fire if you can see and it's the same print on the front and the back but the only two things that i have an issue my gripe is it's a really thin material it didn't look like this on lawn and i thought it was cotton like that one and this one is like yeah. it's like that shiny it's not really plasticky, but it is that shiny material. Do you see that sheen on it? Like, it's really, yeah, that's gonna be donated because I already know my brother, he's not gonna like it. And then the color doesn't go right through. This is, the inside is just white. So that's gonna go in the donation bin. And, all right, this, bag let's move the phone did i really put all this stuff on my yeah, on my phone oh lord okay then i'll 
should have took this out. Bear with me. I'm so sorry. I'm making a whole heap of noise. What is this? Oh. Sorry. Okay, so I picked up some more combs. So when I initially made my order, I bought this comb and this one was 97 cents. You know when you make your order and then at the end, like they have like all these last minute things that you can, what do they say? One click or whatever and you can add. Okay, tell me, tell me why. This bloody comb by itself and it's a tad stubbier than these two but it is thicker. No, 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 no. Other way around. These were the two, these single ones I bought for 97 cents a piece, right? And then after I checked out, they had this two pack. There are two combs inside. They had this twin pack for 57 cents. Yeah. I am mad, I ain't mad, I am mad, really. Not bitter, not at all. But I got those combs. So now I have four combs as backup. And I picked up, how many, how many shower caps? Is this shower cap yet? Okay, so I picked up two shower caps. I picked up this one here that's black with the gold hearts on it. See what I'm saying, this eye. I don't know what's wrong with this eye. This bloody eye is driving me crazy. And then this shower curtain is a baby pink and it has gold polka dots on it. So I thought those were really pretty. So I got those bad boys and then I got two satin bonnets. This was a twin pack for a little over a dollar. So they picked the colors with the, with the twin pack that they put in there. I wanted the black, so this is why I picked um, this combo that has the brown. So I got those, and then I actually got some more phone cases. So this is obviously my phone case. It's just a light pink, pink, purple, brain's not working. This is a light purple, lilac color. And then I got two of these ones here. This is like the knockoff otter box. So I got two, cause they didn't have, they only had two. So I'm probably the boys. So Christopher and Bobby, we all, oh, okay. So the whole family, we have the Pixel um, 9 Pro, the Pixel 9 Pro, yeah, XL. So we all have this. So I wanted like a rugged case for the time being until our order comes in. So I got two because like I said, they only had two left in stock. I wanted three, but I'll take one for the team and give the boys um, these cases. So one for Christopher and one for Bobby. And then I'll use the other one and be delicate with it until the actual OtterBox um, cases come in. Little man wants Spigen, so he's gonna get Spigen, and then Bobby and I are gonna get an OtterBox case for our phones. And then I picked up, speaking of the boys, two scarves for them. I don't know which one wants what. Little man will probably take the black one. And then I'll give Bobby the other one. Yeah, I don't really like this one. I'm gonna probably take this one. This is a little see-through. It's almost like yarn. I'll take this one and then give little man this gray one. This gray one looks a little bit better. And then I'll have to order another scarf for Bobby. And then the last few items I picked up. These are the, they spell them right. These are customized um, hoop earrings, and it says Christopher on each of them. I'll take them out of the little bag so you can see them better. 
Now my bloody nose is running. Oh, Lord heavens. Bear with me. We're almost done. We're almost done. We're almost done. Okay. So this one here. Let me see. Do I have a backing here? Maybe y'all can see that a little bit better. So it says Christopher. So that design there. And then the other design is also, can I spell it right? Yeah, this one's like handwriting. And this one also says Christopher. And it's the same size diameter hoop. Yeah, same diameter. But this one has, okay, I have to take out one of them because they're like double stacked and you can't really see it. Okay, that's better. So it has like the fancy like handwriting. That is not showing up properly. Do I have like a dark backing or something? Let's see if this will, eh, it might work. Can y'all see that? Yeah, there we go. So it says Christopher on it. So I thought those were pretty. So I got those, I don't wanna lose it. Okay, I'll put it up here. So I got those. And then the last thing I picked up is a sports bra. And it says love, it has hearts on it, but I really like the fact that the back is like a crisscross. Okay, so the straps in the back crisscross. So this is the front, says love all the way around and even on the straps, but get this, the back, y'all see that? Hang on a second, I'm trying to show it here. So the back, the straps crisscross. So that's really pretty. And it has just minor um, padding, which I'll probably take out. Does it have a slit? Yeah. So it just has very minor padding and it does have obviously the little opening. You can just bend the padding and just take the, da, da, da. let's see if y'all can see it here. I'm sorry, my bloody nose, what is happening? And it's all on my left side. My left eye's running and my bloody left nostril. What is happening today? Okay, there's the padding. Five years later, I finally get it out. There you go. So that's that. And is that it? That's an empty bag? No, I have another, another bag. What the heck? Okay, almost done, almost done, almost done. Hopefully there's just like, one item in this bag. Hopefully I don't cut anything. Child. Ooh. What did I just cut? Oh lord. No, and of course it's not one item. What is this? What is is this another bloody keychain? No. Oh, this is for the cart. Some people say cart, some people say buggy. So this is for, you know when the, the shopping carts have the, um, for the quarter? I haven't tried it yet, but this has, it has a little keychain ring on there, but this little, doohickey right here you would push it inside the little cutout in the cart and hopefully it'll engage and it'll like you can take the cart out instead of using a quarter you can use that so I'm gonna try that because we're going shopping this is oh this is another um twin pack of the the hair bonnets but this one here See, these ones, sadly, you can you just put them over your hair. And in the night, doesn't matter if you just stay on one side and you don't turn at night. This doesn't have like the little ties. So I didn't see that till after I, I did my order. And these ones came up just like the bloody combs. 
these ones popped up. So I got the black and the navy blue. And these ones are like this one, but these ones have the little ties. So you can tie it around the frame of your face and they most likely stay on better than those throughout the night. So, yeah. I mean, I'm not gonna use it during the night, but I'm gonna use it during the day when I come home to sleep since I work night shift. Okay. So then these, oh, these are kind of small. Again, Andrea, you're not checking dimensions, girl. I thought these were gonna be, are they the same print? No, one is smiling. Okay, no, okay. Sorry, I'm out here talking to myself in the streets. Okay, so these are, this is the size. Are they the same size? Oh, okay. So one is like a curved tote. So it's a little smaller. See how it like curves on the sides? They're both Mickey print, but this one is curved and it does have, does it have a zipper? Yeah, it does have a zipper. So you can close it. But this one, it's like squared off and it does have a zipper as well. Do I have anything to like, let's put the boots in there, weigh it down. That way you can get the full effect. Okay, so this one looks a little bit bigger just because it has the square edges kind of thing. You know what I mean? And the flat bottom. Whereas this other one, everything is like rounded. Even the bottom of the tote, it's rounded so it can't stand up. Whereas this one, it's able to stand on its own. And this one, the squared off one, just has a pattern of Mickey's face on one side and then the other side is just a solid white and then the rounded one has the same print on both sides and I bought another PJ see I'm telling you this thing is making me look like a liar I said there was those were the last two PJs no this is the last PJ because this is the last item okay Ooh, I like this this really feels nice. What size did I get this? I'll just look on the garment, Andrew. Don't look on the bag. Okay, I got these in an XL. So it's Hello Kitty. There we go. And she has her milk. I'm assuming that's milk. And then it says, I am as heavy as three apples. Is that this what it says on the whole thing? And then it has Hello Kitty. It says Hello Kitty. And then I am, what did I say? I am as heavy as three apples. So I don't know what the heck that means. But this one is, pipe, is piped with the black trim and then the black buttons. And then the bottoms, do they have a drawstring? No, they don't. It's just the elastic waistband and it has the same print and saying. And then the bottom's really nice. They finished it with the flat and the black piping. So that's really nice. And it's cotton. It feels, oh, that's gonna be really nice and breathable. So I got those. Let me just make sure this is the last of everything. Yeah. Okay, so that concludes this Timu haul. I hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.